few questions about GOC assignment number 7. Anthracene is purified by direct question sublimation, anthracene, naphthalene, all these undergo sublimation. The best method is separate to separate the mixture of ortho and para nitrophenol. It depends on boiling points. Okay, now if the boiling point difference is very close, fractional distillation, little bit more, you can go for distillation here, steam distillation. Qualitative analysis. If a, if on adding FeCl3 solution to acidified lysine solution, a blood red color is produced, it indicates the presence of nitrogen and sulfur, both. In Dumas method, the gas which is collected in nitrometer is Dumas method means we are collecting nitrogen gas. In Jeldal's method, it is ammonia. Here it is nitrogen. The ammonia evolved from the treatment of 0 0.3 grams of an organic compound for the estimation of nitrogen was passed into 100 ml of 0 0.1 ml sulfuric acid. The excess of acid equal 20 ml of 0 0.5 sodium hydroxide solution for complete nutrition. The compound is. So you need to find here lot. So many things are there. Okay, now first you need to find out percentage of nitrogen. How to find percentage of nitrogen? The formula is. 1.4 into n into v by mass of organic compound mass of compound given how patients will solve this question now see uh, 1.4 percentage of nitrogen is equals to into normality of acid what is given acid 0 0.1 molarity of sulfuric acid so normality will be 0 0.2 then volume of the acid used. How much he is using? And don't take this 100 ml. Actually, 0.1 m sulfuric acid required 0 0.5 m sodium hydroxide 20 ml. So, whatever the excess sulfuric acid was there, it was taken by 20 ml. So, first of all, you need to find how much of sodium hydroxide is used uh, sulfuric acid. Okay. So, this I am taking 20 ml into 0.5 molarity normality same for sodium hydroxide. Don't worry about that. Then, Sulfuric acid normality will be 0 0.2 into volume. So this is cancelled. 2 ones, 2 tenths. So 50 ml is used for sodium hydroxide. You have taken 100. In that 50 is used here. So you have only 50 ml. So 1.4 into 0.2 into 50. This I am taking out. So 2 5 is a 10. 10 means 14. Percentage of nitrogen is 14. Now you see. 0 0.3 grams of organic compound for the estimation of nitrogen was passed in uh, 100 ml of 0 0.3 0 .3 grams. Okay, now divided by 3 is there, 0 0.3, sorry. Percentage of nitrogen is equals to N into V, uh, 1.4 into N into V by 0.3. 140 by 3, 3, 4 is a 12, 20. 37 the approximately 47 percent is now carbon hydrogen nitrogen all these you need to check out what he has given for the complete neutralization the compound is then check all this um, which compound is giving the given percentages 47 percentage of nitrogen is present in which of the following compounds answer is given as urea urea formula is nh2 co nh2 molecular mass is 60 in 60, nitrogen is 28. If 60 contains 28 grams of nitrogen, 100 contains how much? 100 into 28 by 60. 0, 0, cut. Okay, now 6, 47. Okay. You need to check. A triple question. A triple means like our JE means. 0 0.12 grams of an organic compound gives 0 0.22 mg to P2O7 by user analysis the percentage of phosphorus is percentage of phosphorus purpose you need to go with this formula percentage of phosphorus is equals to 0 0.22 by 0 0.12 into mg to P2O7 contains 62 grams of phosphorus by 3 into 100 yeah, 3 2 is the molecular mass of mg to P2O7 if you solve this you will get okay so this 100 this 22 if you take out 22 once 10 times so this will become 1.62 by 1.2 
टू क्वेश्चन लेफ्ट विल कंप्लीट दीज टू क्वेश्चन जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री ग्राम्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड वाज एनालाइज फॉर नियट्रोजन बाय जेल्डल्स में ज़्यादा अमोनिया गैस है वर्ल्ड वाज अर्जार बाय द एक्सेस ऑफ एसिड एक्सेस ऑफ एसिड ओके ना हाउ मच ट्वेंटी फाइव मिल सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इट ट्वेंटी फाइव मिल जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मोलाटी नार्मली बहुत आ so twenty five ml was used for sodium hydroxide. For sodium hydroxide. Now percentage of nitrogen is equals to one point four into normality. Normality is point one into volume. Fifty ml, twenty five ml gone. So remaining twenty five ml divided by mass zero point three zero three. Then directly you will be getting the answer. The answer is eleven point five. Check once. Assertion in Dumas method when an organic compound is heated with a cupric oxide, nitrogen gas is converted into N two gas. Exactly, cupric oxide oxidizes carbon and hydrogen. So, what is the relation? Both are correct and but not correct expression. Then, like you said, signing of time, twenty fifth November, zero 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 three hours. Means it is midnight. 